What's up, world? Uh, it's your boy DJ Short E from Philly. And I was asked to make a quick video. I'm not so quick. It depends on how long it takes me. On um, how to... What's the difference between connecting your SC6000Ms or SC6000 to Serato and Virtual DJ? So, basically, this is going to be a time thing. So... Um, let's get started. First, I turn on my players. First thing we're going to connect to is a virtual DJ. So, oh yeah. As y'all see, I got long cords, so I don't need adapters. I'm going to take my adapters off while they're starting up. Okay, so players are already started up I click on the computer icon it asks me to restart in computer mode yes same thing okay. now they're both in computer mode so I take them and plug them into my laptop Give me one second That's one, and that's two. And I also plug in my mixer. Okay, so my mixer is plugged in and both of my players are plugged in. Now, let me make sure that the computer is registered, which it did. And we're going to start off with Virtual DJ. Okay. Did I start Virtual DJ? Give me a second. I'm sorry. Ready? I guess the clock starts now. Um, okay, go to my playlist. I select the deck one, and that one's going to be B, S, A. And that's B. Select the song. And put up. I'm ready to play. It's just that simple. And I didn't even rush. So that's how easy it is to connect to virtual DJ. Um, another thing, I'm not going to emulate it, but I can vouch for this. Let's say you have a bad file in your virtual DJ. And as a result, for whatever reason, it causes the program to crash. I've witnessed this two times with um and I since I've I've since deleted the files. But um I witnessed this two times. Virtual DJ crashes, shuts down, and basically within I want to say less than 10 seconds, it's up. And the same song that you had playing is that defaults to the beginning and, and continues to play. Like, it restarts the whole song. So when it restarts the program after a crash, it restarts that particular song. So, in my opinion, that's a feather in the cap of Virtual DJ as opposed to Serato. Now I'm going to shut this down and then I'm going to connect my players to Serato so you can see the difference. Um, I believe it only took um, 
less than 40 seconds for me to um, start playing a song with Virtual DJ. So let's shut this down. And right now I'm waiting for my players to realize that Virtual DJ shut down. Virtual DJ is not using them. Boom. Okay. So let's assume that I don't have these connected to the to the computer. So I started the players. I clicked on the um computer icon and I clicked I accepted that yes, I want to start my players in computer mode. Then I connected them to my laptop. I connected the mixer to the laptop. And of course, I always check to make sure all my hard drives, this one and this one, are recognized by the computer, which they are. Now, I start Serato DJ Pro. Let's see. Those who use Serato DJ Pro should be used to the screen, the black screen or a blank screen. The screen has already changed on my decks. So that's a good sign. I'm just waiting for my database to load. And this this is the issue um, or the, the big difference between Virtual DJ and Serato. It takes so long for the, the um, database to load. So, but you're seeing this in real time, and I guess it all depends on how many songs you have, how many crates you have, um, if whether or not you save your um your history of songs you played, and, and that dictates how long it takes Serato DJ Pro to load. Um, it's a lot better than it used to be because I remember um oh my god I think it used to take like three to four minutes for the program to load, and that was before, that was like years ago. So since they went 64 bit, one would assume that it wouldn't take that long to load. But as you can see, my songs is, have still haven't loaded. Good thing is that the decks are connected, as you see. It's just a matter of me selecting the deck I want to use. So on this one, I'm going to select number one. And on this one, I'm going to select number two. But I'm still waiting for my songs to load so I can... um choose a song and play it so um if i had the graphic y'all i would put up a time clock for each so you could know the exact um difference between both of them but unfortunately i do not um i'm just doing this with my cell phone that's the majority of my videos are done with cell phone boom it just updated it just all right, so now I find a song. These are not songs. These are transitional videos. That's how I had mine set up. So I found a random song. Okay, that's that's not a good example, Eric. Oh, boy. Well, all right, I'm going to give Serato the benefit of the doubt. Um, this is a, a human error. But um, I do have songs on here that I could load. Um, so don't hold this clock, this part of the clock, against Serato. Let me see. There you go. So boom. And now I'm playing a song. Um, so... And and that that quickly uh, are it's not quick as far as I'm concerned. Um, so boom, you're up you're up and running, right? Now, like I said, so you shut down Serato. So if anybody who's had Serato, you know how long sometimes it could take to shut down. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Has the program locked up on me? Because it seems like it has. Uh, which, which is bull crap. Um, 
But as you can see, this is one of the reasons why I, I, I don't really like Serato. To me, it's not really um reliable. I used to love it. Don't get me wrong. I used to love Serato. But um, ever since I've, I've been using Virtual DJ, I'm sorry. Virtual DJ to me is better overall. Um, so it's just one of them things. But um, I'm going to get out of this by um, forcing Serato to shut down. And uh, that's what it is. Because um, I'm just saying, imagine you're at a gig and you have to deal with this while you're setting up. Now, granted, you could set all this up, then go to setting up your speakers, make all your connections, hide all your wires and everything. But it's, it's just the stress of not knowing if the program is going to function correctly like it should on demand. Whereas with Virtual DJ, I haven't had a problem with it starting up or anything. Um, it's there for me when I need it, exactly how I need it. Also, with Virtual DJ, I have all the features of my pads and then some because um, I can add to it different fu features like i got loop and the second function of loop is it remembers the loop then i got roll and the section the second function of um loop roll but with serato you only have certain features unless unless you uh program serato um yourself in so far as what you want Serato to do when you hit certain certain buttons on your player. Um, I don't also I also want to bring to light, and I should have showed you this when I did the virtual DJ. But if y'all if y'all want me to prove it, I'll make another video. I like the fact that in virtual DJ when you hit the back button, it's nothing but your library, so you don't see all this, and you can scroll with your finger and find certain songs, and then load that song. With Serato, this is the only screen you see, okay? Um, and you got your choice of your playlist, uh, your songs, and your crates. So those are the three options you have. To, um, but as you see, you're limited in how many songs you can see. Whereas in Virtual DJ, you can see all of this. You can see your crates over on the side. It's like you have more options with the screen with Virtual DJ than you have with Serato. Um, also with Virtual DJ, it gives you more information about the track than Serato. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take a picture and then later on when I set up Virtual DJ again, just for myself, I'm gonna take a picture of the screen and I'm gonna post it on my IG so you can see the difference in the information that each program gives you when you use them. So it basically is about what, what works for you. So if you still want to use Virtual DJ, if you still, if you, if you have no problems with it, fine, use it. If you still want to use Serato, same thing. If you have no problems, fine, use it. I'm just saying for me personally, I would prefer Virtual DJ over Serato. And um, that's what it is. It, it, it works much better with my um, players, with my mixer, and so far as the stem feature, and uh, it just opens up a whole different world of DJing um, with, as far as I'm concerned, compared to Serato. So I was asked to make this video. Hopefully I answered my homie's questions. And um, once again, it's your boy DJ Short E from Philly, and I'm out of here. Peace.